Hello and welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Coastal Morning. It's a six by eight that I painted uh, very recently, um, back in say January, and uh, actually I actually think it's the last one from January I haven't shared. I've been kind of keeping this in reserve. Uh, I really like the way this little painting turned out. I think it's very strong. And uh, it's a um, study for a larger uh, version that I have done a first color pass on uh, that's currently in the drying area of my studio. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'm just uh, waiting for a right moment to finish that one. Uh, it wasn't yesterday. Uh, now today is Sunday. Uh, 18th March 18th just rolling right along and we're starting to definitely uh, get into the uh, fall um, or autumn season here uh, in New Zealand summer is pretty much over still not cold you know but but the day is getting shorter and um, we had a very very hot summer so it's kind of good that that's over uh, uh, you know, and I enjoy autumn. It's one of my um, favorite times of year. However, you really don't get a lot of like uh, trees dropping their leaves or trees changing color out here. Not really. It's not a thing. Um, most of the trees, uh, at least here in the North Island uh, where I live, uh, are uh, some sort of some form of evergreen. So that's all right. It's all good. It's it's it's, it's good. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so, how's it going in the studio, is what you want to know. Well, I didn't get much done yesterday, which was Saturday. Today is Sunday, uh, March 18th. Uh, it just was one of those days. I just didn't feel like I had much traction. So, actually, I uh, did some work at home. And uh, I just uh, I, I updated a bunch of things on ArtFinder. Um, actually, what I did on ArtFinder is I, I dropped the prices on a few paintings there. Um, just to get them in line with my prices here in New Zealand. I'm constantly massaging that because <clears throat> it's interesting. You know, if the prices are too high, that can um, uh, dissuade from sales. And if the prices are too low, it dissuades from sales. You need to be in that sweet spot. And uh, especially for someone prolific like myself, I like to move a lot of paintings. The whole idea is to get paintings into people's homes. And it's not like I, uh, you know, mass produce these things or anything. I, I, I create each one with love and care. Um, but I am working all the time. And if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know that um, the way I, I teach is that uh, uh, you need to work all the time to get good. There, I don't really, I don't, I've never known anyone that was any good that didn't work all the time. Um, I have seen people that were just starting out do some good work, but when they they sit sit down to do another good piece, oftentimes they find that they'll fail. So sometimes the universe will set you up for success early on just to encourage you. But uh, if you want to continue with that success in your uh, artistic endeavor, uh, it really is uh, incumbent on you to work hard and work all the time. And so I do. And um, you know that's uh oh it's its own reward and it, if you're doing good paintings and good paintings uh are the only paintings that i'm interested in having around <laughs> anyway um i did do a few uh interesting oh pardon me oh gosh sorry uh I'm just, uh, it's still pretty early in the morning here on Sunday. It's like 8 something in the morning and I uh, having my coffee and uh, just thought I'd go ahead and get this uh, recorded for you and uh, probably get it up today, I imagine. Uh, we put up a past masters yesterday. It was a study of a Francis Murphy and that's looking like uh, people digging that, which is cool. It's always nice when you dig them and if you don't dig them, well, there's plenty there for you to to look at I think we're we're getting pretty close to 400 videos on my channel so uh, 
it's been uh, a long uh, ride and um, that too is part of the the work ethic right I do the videos because uh, um, I do the painting <laughs> and uh, uh, it doesn't make sense to just have videos uh, moldering on the hard drive I, I feel like I should get them out there in the world and share them with uh, people that are interested and I really appreciate uh, those of you that uh, subscribed and uh, even those of you that, that haven't that just you know come around and watch one once in a while that's all good you know it's there for you if you want it and if you uh, want something else God God knows there's so many ways to distract ourselves these uh, these days and this is one of the reasons I really do appreciate my subscribers because they've chosen to uh, distract themselves with the uh, um, the products of my efforts so that's cool um, let me say uh, this uh, painting I'm working on now came out of a trip I made just uh, specifically uh, a local trip uh, this is definitely the sort of uh, uh, coastal landscape you'll see uh, around um, the area I live in and a very distinctive types of trees called Bahudakawas and uh, this one I knew was strong before I painted it and I was super happy with it. It, went, it came together um, quite um, you know readily and uh, it was a, definitely a case of learning how to leave things alone just let things breathe and uh, I was talking a little bit uh, on yesterday's video about this uh, study I'm doing after Georgia Ness this week and uh, how it got just a little tight, a little tight, you know. Um, and that's the part of your brain that is uh, striving as, uh, and it, it's absolutely essential. I mean, without it, you wouldn't get anything done. Um, however, you can't let that uh, part of your brain have uh, total dominance. You have to have a balance. Uh, between the drive and the uh, the drive to uh, of course um, do good work and to uh, uh, you know actually get out there and paint and do things um, versus the intuition which is constantly feeding you um, information about how to make your work better how to how to improve things how to see and go places that you haven't actually got to yet uh, with uh, your rational mind and um, it's a balance for me anyway in my process it's definitely always a balance between those two and I find that very interesting uh, by the way if you see the shifts in the uh, color tone um, during the painting process I've pointed this out before but I know some people find it distracting and um, it, there's a skylight in my studio and what you're seeing is the clouds passing over my head and uh, nothing much I can do about it really except um, it doesn't bother me while I'm painting because I you know I have you know I know what I'm gonna do I, I in fact uh, I have my colors mapped out you saw that at the beginning I flashed you the palette and I've been trying to do that in all my videos now so you can always pause there and kind of get a look at how I broke down the uh, the painting in my in my mind usually it's about 8 to 12, 14 colors that I'll pre-mix and uh, I almost always modify them in some way, shape or form but I find it helps to get me um, lined up and ready to go. Anyway, we're getting close to the end here. Thank you for joining me today. And uh, if you like this video, please click like and uh, subscribe if you uh, want to see more of these things. Share it if you know anyone that you think uh, would enjoy seeing it. And uh, you can go to my website, landscapepainter.co.nz, see more stuff. I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, take good care and stay out of trouble.